Amy Roloff is an especially reflective and sentimental mood this holiday season. Unfortunately, it's for a tragic reason. On Wednesday, Jacob Roloff posted a lengthy and revealing message on Instagram telling followers that he was allegedly molested by a Little People Big World producer named Chris Cardamone. It is often much easier to think about things than it is to talk about them, and so this disclosure has been delayed, but through that delay, I have found the fortitude and words that 23-year-old wrote to open this troubling reveal. Jacob added that he hopes Cardamon is never allowed near kids in the future, stating simply, I do not expect to provide details of this encounter at any point publicly. I do hope he is never allowed around children again. Roloff quit Little People Big World in 2016, a few months after he says Cardamon sent him a text message. He claimed at that time that he had to leave the show because it felt too phony and scripted. Now, however, it's impossible not to wonder if there wasn't a whole lot more going on with Jacob back then. I choose to disclose it now, as it remains a traumatic memory that needs to be exercised of any further power over my development, Jacob explained on Instagram taking a broader look at this topic as follows. By revealing this, I may be more fully understood and my perspective on issues such as child sexual abuse, child exploitation and the collateral costs of reality television may be received more clearly. Although I would have to add that this experience has not solely defined my point of view on any of these issues, nor has it defined my worldview in general. In the wake of Roloff's admission, his family members have spoken out in support. As a comment on her son's post, for example, Amy Roloff remarked, I love you forever and always, Jacob. I'm proud of you. Now you don't have to feel alone and carry this around anymore. Now on her Instagram stories page, the mother of four has appeared to address the subject once again, without citing Jacob by name or specifically bringing out the scandal. The family matriarch shared a beautiful snapshot of the outside of a Christmas decorated home, with red and white lights adorning the roof and fence and lit up candy canes on the lawn. This is what she wrote as a caption. A quiet Christmas night, the fire is burning, Christmas music is quietly playing and there is no better time for me than right now to pray and reflect on all that is going on. My heart is heavy and God is still always here. It's pretty evident Amy was referring to her son here, you know? Jacob added this week that he did not speak out sooner because a child must process and I needed silence and time. He continued. This may also serve as a reminder that the experience of sexual assault in all of its iterations can happen to anyone at any time and is far more prevalent reality than our current social stigma allows us to talk about. In a statement to People magazine on Wednesday, TLC said, TLC was just informed about an alleged encounter that occurred years ago involving a third party connected to the production of Little People Big World. We are saddened and troubled by this very serious allegation, and TLC will work cooperatively with the authorities. Our main focus remains on supporting the role of family during this very difficult time. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.